Slobies! Welcome back to another DIY and today I have something really really fun for you guys. Sometimes I like to switch up my DIYs just because I know not a lot of you guys are interested in sewing and some of you guys don't have a sewing machine so you know bear with me. I like to just do a little bit of everything just to accommodate as many people as I can. Lately there has been construction going on outside of my flat so filming has been really really difficult. I kid you not Godzilla is coming. Some kind of crazy Armageddon is upon us. This sound is ridiculously noisy. Everyone who lives in this vicinity knows what I'm talking about. I wanted to share with you guys how I basically DIY these cutoffs. Now I used to love buying cutoffs but I don't know what has been going on but I feel like they've been shorter and shorter. I go up the escalators and the stairs a lot in Hong Kong. The last thing I want is to have some dude go like this <laughs> during the summers. So I decided to just create my own cutoffs. I think this is so much better because I like a more looser fitting cutoff where like it sits on my hip but I like it to be a little bit baggy. At the same time, I want it to look like it's short but I don't want them to feel short. One night I decided to stay up really really late and I came up with a perfect formula on how to create the perfect cutoff shorts. Basically these are very similar to dolphin shorts where they're a little bit longer in the back and higher in the front and it has a bit of a curve on the side of your thigh and you'll know what I'm talking about when I show it to you. I just don't like to have my butt cheeks hanging out so that's the reason why I decided to DIY my own. So I think the best way to do this is to either buy mom jeans which you can find at uh, the thrift store because then they'll look like you know the really expensive Urban Outfitters uh, cutoffs or you can use boyfriend jeans which I found to be my favorite because I like the saggy crotch in the front. As weird as that sounds, I just think the sagginess kind of makes it look very effortless and, and even edgy in a sense. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our denim and uh, our scissors and also um, some pins and some chalk and let's get to it. Okay, so to get started, you'll definitely have to try on your pants. And the first thing you're going to do is figure out how short you want these shorts to be. So the shortest part of these shorts are going to be on the side of your leg. Now, all right, go ahead and take your pants off and go ahead and mark that same marking on the other side of the pant leg as well. But uh, go ahead and flip your pants to the back side and you're going to just flip the crotch up. This is such a weird sentence you guys but um, from the middle part of the crotch you're going to measure out about an inch and a half to two inches. Keep in mind that the bigger your butt the larger this number has to be. So if you have a small flat butt you can get away with one and a half inches but if you have a little bit more badonk donk you know then it will have to be two to three inches. Okay, so here is the biggest tip of them all. Um, go ahead and locate your pocket. I hope that your jeans have pockets. And um, at the bottom of the pocket, right where the point is, you're going to measure down the exact same amount that you had placed for your crotch. So if you measured out an inch and a half for the crotch, then you have to measure down an inch and a half. Okay, go ahead and flip your pants to the front. And what you're going to do is you're going to locate the first belt loop and you're going to create a marking that's right in the middle um, where the side seam is and where the crotch is. And what it should do is that it should create a really nice and seamless curve going from the side seam to the crotch. Um, if it looks like it's too high or too low, then you can go ahead and adjust that. Okay, the mistake that a lot of people do is that they fold their pants in half and they just start cutting away when really we're not only working on separate legs but we're also working with front and back because let's be real here, we're not symmetrical in the front and in the back and from side to side. So what I'm doing is I'm just connecting the dots on one pant leg so it's the crotch, the middle, the side seam. And then what I do is I just flip it to the back and then I connect the side seam, the measurement where the pocket was, back to the crotch. Watch. Okay, so now you have all of your lines drawn in and it's just time to cut. And again, it drives me insane when I see someone just fold their pants in half and just cut straight across because that it doesn't work like that. Um, what you're gonna do is you're actually going to pinch your denim and cut on the line going all the way around. Okay, and what you would get is that you would get a pair of shorts where the back side is longer than the front. Okay. 
And so that's pretty much it to get the cutest little cutoff shape without showing off your butt, but as well as having it short enough where your legs can be elongated and accentuated. And I know it might look a little bit long. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place little markings on my denim as to where I want to have some shredding occur. And that's the reason why you should have it just a little bit longer because once you shred your jeans, it's just gonna get shorter and shorter. So what I'm doing is I'm just cutting in tiny slits um, as to where I want my shredding to happen. And the cool trick is to actually take a needle and pull out just a couple of threads, maybe about 10 to 15 to expose some of the blue. I am going to rotate around and just do the same on the other end of the slit. And you're gonna notice that both sides have a little bit of blue fringe showing through. What I do next is that I take a pair of pliers and I just start pulling on the blue threads and it should just come out in little strings like this. And by doing this, you create these little strands that go across your jeans without actually ripping and creating large holes. I think this is still a little bit more modest than a big hole in your denim. And I'm sure it is really time consuming, but that's probably the reason why distressed jeans also cost so much at the store because it's not an easy feat to do. But here I am, I'm just pulling and tugging on the denim just to give it a little bit more of a distressed look. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm pretty sure these can go for about 40 to 50 bucks at Urban Outfitters. So yeah, I don't know, I think they're cool. So you guys should just give them a try. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I hope that it's easy enough. Summer is upon us, so a lot of us are going to be in cutoff shorts. I live in Hong Kong and in Houston, and so it's really, really hot and very, very humid, so I practically just survive in shorts. If you guys do like this video, be sure to actually like it down below, share it with everyone you know, and of course support me by subscribing to my channel. And we're going to go ahead and just get started on Selfie Sundays. If you guys don't know, I'm doing Selfie Sundays where you guys would post me a photo of your selfies on Sundays, and then and I'm just gonna go through and leave comments and I think it's fun because I want to know that there's real people chatting with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Remember to rock on slow beats. See you later. Bye! Okay, y'all know I love you guys, so let's do some Sunday selfies. Basically, I just post a post on my Facebook page and then you just leave me your selfie down below telling me what you're doing and where you're from. And this happens every Sunday and then I'm just gonna share on my videos. So I'm just gonna randomly pick a couple of y'all and Pearly, you are from Japan. Digging that headband, girl. Let's see. Millie, you're from Virginia. Oh my gosh, you got the little puppy. It's so cute. Oh. Okay, who else? Ooh, Andrea is from California. I really like those bangs. Uh, and Callie, I have to just give a quick shout out to you because you're always leaving comments on my Facebook page and you always leave the nicest comments. I did not know you're from Ohio though, girl. Okay, next. We have Kendra's from Houston. And look at that little doggy, it's so cute. Did someone leave a reply? No, your dog is so cute. Let's see. Okay. Katie is from London. I love the quad photos. That's like four selfies. You totally went above and beyond. Just gotta say hi to Rainy. You're from Wisconsin. Blue hair, Kara. You're not telling me where you're from. That's okay. You probably don't want me to stalk you. I understand. Sydney is from Canada. Massasequa. I've never been able to say that. Massasequa. Massasequa? 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 Okay, we have Sammy Soros from Brooklyn, New York. Sammy Soros, I have to ask you this. Do people think you are a dinosaur because of the Soros at the end? And if so, you are one cute little dinosaur missing. Manveen is from India. Oh, that's me, KL. Uh -huh. Okay, Edith is from Colorado, and she's on a break doing the graveyard shift, girl. Work hard, play hard. Lydia is from Malaysia. Oh, he's so cute. Rosie is from the UK. Evelyn is from Los Angeles, but this is not a selfie, this is food. And I want some of that, whatever that is. Serena is from Hong Kong. Courtney is from Montana. And okay, so that is just a few that I'm going to show you guys. Remember to post your Sunday selfies on my Facebook when I ask for Sunday selfies. And you might be in my next video. Bye!
Bobbies, welcome back to my channel. I know my hair is blonde. I will explain this in another video. Uh, for now, if you guys can, please try to uh, ignore this area right here. Today, we are going to be talking about what went into building my nose. I know I'm doing these videos 